Hi, it's Victor from SecPoint.com. I'm here with the Cloud Penetrator today, and we can see I have a username and login here. That is the username Cloud, and I will log into my account. Now I have logged into my account, and we can see I made a scan on the 2nd of September 2011. We can see here I used the profile, my public IP address, and we found several vulnerabilities. I can go up here in the Accounts tab, and I can keep, click List of Audit Accounts, and here I can see the different profiles I have. I can also go to Audit and Create Audit if I just want to make a new scan right now, uh, and I can simply select my profile and start the scan right away. Otherwise, I can go to the Schedules, and we can click on List of Scheduled Audits, and here we can see I have already set up a schedule of my IP address, so I get the daily scans. We can click here on View, and we can see the scan is running on a daily basis at 2 o'clock in the morning, and we can see I have my email address where I will receive a daily mail once the scan has been completed. In the mail, it will have a text about how many vulnerabilities were identified. So I can easily see when new vulnerabilities are discovered and log into the interface and get the report. Now I go here to the audit and I go to list of audits and here we can see the different scans that have been made already. Now I can see this IP address I've been scanning right here. We have four high-risk vulnerabilities, we have 71 medium, and we have 16 low. So here there's a lot of things to start working on to secure the IP address. When you have scanned your IP address, you can choose to get a PDF report, you can choose to get an HTML report, you can also get an XML, you can, get, you can go to the false positives, and with the false positives module, let's say for example you have a web server, and for certain vulnerabilities it is returning a different code. For example, if we are re requesting a password file, and instead of getting a 404 error, when the file is not being found, the server returns a 200 OK indicating that the file is there even though it is not there. If things like that happens, we can easily make a fix for it, or you can just go to the false positive module where you can simply mark the vulnerabilities. Then they will not be shown in the report and in the report in the future. So now I click here on the PDF report, and then it is loading the report. You can also download the PDF files and you know keep it on a, on a safe place, on an encrypted hard drive, a USB token, or in your archive. Uh, when we have the report here, we can scroll down here, and I can go in the list here. We see there's a table of content of the report. We see here an introduction where it explains how the report is built and what the differences is. We can also go down here, we can see the different high, medium and low risk vulnerabilities. And then we get here the executive summary, where we can see how many vulnerabilities were identified on the system. And now I go back to the interface right here, and I get here the penetrator interface. And the good thing is, you can always log into the interface when you want. You can do the scans also when you want. And for more information, please visit SecPoint.com. And on SecPoint.com, you can also click the free vulnerability scan and get a free sample report. Thank you for your time and have a good day.